Hello, welcome back to online course AI and Cyber Approach. Today we will come up with a concept of a new network learning. We also compare the difference between the supervised learning and unsupervised learning. So let's begin. The training of neural network is motivated from the training of children who uh, don't know anything at the beginning. So imagine that we want to take children to recognize some animal, such a dog and cat, we do a follows. The first, we give some children one image and we ask them, which animal do you think? And maybe they answer this is cat and we, we think that it's not correct because we know this is dog and this is the input image and this is the image on the target or the design of what we expect children can answer to. And if they answer in correction, in correct way, we correct them. We say that it is dog, not cat, and we give uh, another um, image and we get the answer and they, we correct them if they answer incorrectly. And we basically we do until the end of the image in our data set. So we call this the data set and we call this the target or the, or the label, label that we name for the image. And after the first time, we can ask them again and again on, and we correct them until they uh, satisfy all of image. So that is the training finish. And after that, we give every, every image they can co answer correctly. However, if we give another picture that not belong to this, they can answer uh, correct or not. It belong to how many pictures they learn from the data. As many a uh, possible, we should give them in order to get the correct answer from this. And we do the same way for training our new network because our new new network is a way to model or to imitate the uh, human brain or biological brain. In fact, we want to train the network to recognize the hand uh, writing digit uh, from zero to one. We do the same way for example, we apply the input and it should be noted that the new network is a mathematical function that represents the, uh, the, the relationship between the input and output. For example, we have the synaptic way uh, we name say, say W1 and W2 for the second layer. And we can represent this output by H equal to the sigma function of the X and internal variable pa parameters. And the output is the sigma function uh, of the hidden layer, hidden layer with the uh, parameter of the second layer too. So in, uh, typically we can represent the output y equal to the, the function of x and w, w represent, uh, w represent for w1 and w2. And the training is basically uh, the process uh, we apply the input and we the, uh, we expect the, uh, the output and we compare with the prediction. That is the prediction that produce uh, from the, the network and we calculate the error. If not correct, we adjust the way the Senate, the internal uh, parameter. The internal parameter uh, is the, uh, uh, the synaptic way and we modify in order to um, let the error uh, minimize, minimize, and smaller and smaller step by step. That in the training process. That is a supervised. That is a supervised learning because we always give the right answer for children. We also give the right uh, output for the new network. So we call this is supervised uh, learning. And by contrast to supervised learning, we have unsupervised learning. In unsupervised learning, we also give the image to the children. However, we, we didn't tell them which one is a dog and which animal, animal is cat uh, as well. And they have to classify themselves. They can recognize, oh, this one very similar to this one. So they can group this one and they can group this one. That is unsupervised 
meaning they study themselves. In a type of violence, we give the new network or set up data and the new network uh, have to be themselves study and to classify or to group some, uh, to generate the output, some group, they, for example, they group the triangle, the square, and the circle, for example. That is unsupervised because we didn't show which one is dog, which one is cat. We also uh, didn't show um, which one is triangle, which one is um, a square, for example. Uh, concretely, uh, we can get the uh, another example, for instance. Uh, for example, in this case, we want to train a, a sim single network, a single neuron to classify two kind of symbol. A symbol can be represented by uh, the number of data, for example, a vector of 1 and 0, 1, uh, 0, 1, and 1, 1, 1, 1, for example, and we can have 4 by 4 and we can convert to a vector and we apply to the input and we can calculate the output. We expect when we apply the first symbol, uh, symbol we obtain the negative one because we can classify two, class, two classic, this one and this one. This one. Uh, however, it can be 0, it can be plus 1 or uh, 0 fun and our target is to modify this one is to obtain completely the output is negative one or uh, approximately negative or round negative that we want to classify. Um, and we do, we train the synaptic way how in order to satisfy all of the image, all of the symbol in data set, that is the training, uh, the concept of training. So before dive into the concept of training, we have to determine, uh, we have to define uh, the loss. So what is the loss? It's very uh, widely used in the uh, in most of neuron network. The loss of a network measures the cost incurred from incorrect prediction, or uh, namely it measures the difference between the, the prediction and the, the target, and we expect the Loss is always zero or nearly zero or as small as possible. That is the loss because the loss represents the accuracy of the network. And the loss can be represented by the function. Loss is the function of the in the predicted the uh, the, re, uh, the prediction the reduction or the predictive output and the real or the target output. The predictive output is a function of the input and internal parameters. And the output is and the, the entire output we call on the predicted and the actual output. One method to measure the error or the loss function is to use the mean square error. We measure the difference between the, the output and the target, and we square because we want to get the positive or the absolute value, and we get the average on for all of the sa sample in data set. Another way we use the cross entropy loss. Cross entropy cross is very popular and useful when the output is the probability distribution, and we will discuss this concept in a later video. Okay, for recap, training a neural network is a process of using an optimization algorithm to find a set of way to the best map or to satisfy the problem or to map the input to with the correct output. In other words, this is the way to minimize the log function and uh, mathematically we can understand that the uh, training network is to find the set of parameter we call we call say we, we can say the hyperparameter in order to minimize the loss function, the loss function and because the log function represents the, 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 the predictive output and the target output over over all the data set, over all of data uh, sample in data set. It seems to be hard to you. Okay, don't worry. Actually, it's not. It's very easy and we want step by step that